Okay, now let's take a look at materials and textures here in Cinema 4D. So the materials are what's actually going to really bring your models to life. Whether you need something that's shiny, reflective, or bumpy, this is where it's going to happen. So let me create a new material. It happens down here in the Material Manager, and all you have to do is double-click, and you get your material. Now to see the material, we just double-click the material that's just been created down here and we get the Material Editor. And this is where most of the magic happens. Now, in addition to the Material Editor, you also have the Material Editor down here in your Attribute Manager. Basically, the same information that you have in the Material Editor is down here. You just have it on tabs. So if I come in here and I turn on some of these parameters, like right now, we just have color and specular on. If I turn on luminance, reflection, fog, you're going to see that these tabs start increasing. So for every parameter I turn on here, I'm going to have a tab where I can actually go in and make some changes to that. So let's turn these back off. Leave defaults on. Put a cube in the scene. And I'm going to take my material and I'm just going to drag it onto the cube. Now you can drag the material onto the cube, or I could drag it onto the cube in the Object Manager. So either way will work. And when I do that, you'll notice that I also have a texture tag on the cube now. If I want to rename the material, I can double click here and type it in there, or I can do that in the Basic tab here. So however you want to work, that's up to you. I typically like to double click on the material and pull up the material editor when I'm working. So starting here with the color, we can just go up here and click on this color palette and it's going to pull up our color picker and we can either dial in our colors or we can just drag to select or we can do a combination of both. And what you have here is depending on what you have set in your preferences as far as your color picker. So we'll say that I'm just going to go with a light blue. Click OK. And then you can see it updates here. Now, one thing you need to realize is that you can't trust what you're seeing in this window. In order to see what your material is really looking like, you need to do a render view. Or you could render to picture viewer. You'll see me do that before. Because just looking at it right here, this is just an approximation based on your graphics card. So this is not really what your material is looking like. Now, another way to work, and if you're going to be making a lot of changes, is to work with the interactive render region. And you can get to the interactive render region by clicking and holding down here and coming to the bottom and clicking on that. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you this little box that's going to continually update. You can get this wherever you want it. And you can control the level of quality right here. So the further you go up, the better the quality is going to be here. So now if I come back over here to my material editor and I start to make changes, I'm going to see these update over here. Now I can also control my brightness, the overall brightness of the material. I can go way over the top, over 100% to get really blown out looks. Probably wouldn't want to do that, but in some cases you may. I can also apply textures. I can apply my own textures, which we will go into in a later movie. Or I can add what are called shaders. We'll take a look at a few of these, but you can see we have just a ton of shaders. But let's say that I wanted to put checkerboard on there. That's a shader. And you can see that that updates. I can go into the checkerboard. I can make changes. We're going to see that there as well. If you decide that you don't want this particular shader anymore, you can come here and click on Clear. And then you could go choose another one. We could come in here and choose Noise, for instance. And in order to edit the noise, we click on the Noise icon here. And we can come in here and choose whatever kind of noise we want and make the appropriate changes. We click on this little button right here we'll get a visual preview of what the different noise types look like. So let's say that I wanted to go with this one. And then I could change my global scale. 
let's say 10. And you have all sorts of other options here. You could animate this noise, loop the animation, change the colors. So just a lot of options to you here in the material editor. Okay, so that's the very basics of materials here in Cinema 4D.